Do you know in all of world history and all of military history, there has never been a single war, not one war, where a national leader told his people they're fighting for money or gold or oil? What do national leaders tell their people they're fighting about? Freedom. What else? Democracy. What else? Self-defense. Protecting your family. Liberating people. That goes back to ancient history. Ironically, it has been the goal of nearly all conquerors and of all empires, from the Egyptians and the Syrians to Charlemagne to the Romans. They'll say, we'll conquer people and the world to have peace. Of course, it will, peace, it will be peace under my rule. I will be the king, and I will rule, and there will be peace. General MacArthur, he was skeptical of the idea that humans are naturally violent. General MacArthur realized that human beings have a deep, natural craving for peace. And General MacArthur said that we know this, that humans have a deep, natural craving for peace, because when any government goes to war in history, doesn't matter what kind of government it is, they always say they're fighting for peace. Even Hitler said the Third Reich, the goal of, uh, was to create world peace, not at all war. War was just a little detail on the way. <laughs> and that's the problem that you use the most, the most idealistic notion, the most wonderful notion, but to do the most horrible things. Ending war, war is politically organized violence between countries. War takes massive amounts of resources to take away from the public interest. You have to have infrastructure, you have to have propaganda, you have to have the political system, the population behind it. Warfare is a different kind of mechanism because of the amount of public support needed to create that politically organized violence between countries. Other human progress depends on the absence of war. Europe is the most socially progressive area in the world and in history. Why? Because we got rid of war, inside the European Union at least. We might never have zero murderers. We have to have law enforcement. But I think we can create a future where there is no politically organized violence between countries, especially if people realize how much warfare and the preparation for war actually hurts them. If the American people knew that warfare actually hurts us economically and makes us less safe the way that war today is being waged. To be humble, to be kind It is a giving of peace in your mind To a stranger, to a friend to give in such a way that has no end We are love